Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got this no fuss logic puzzle. And in this puzzle, we got this red and blue circles. And we have to manipulate these numbers such that we can figure out the correct value for this question mark. Can you figure out the answer to this problem on your own? You may pause the video and take your time. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do is to find a certain pattern. And then we are going to apply and justify. And in this video, I am going to share with you two different approaches. And here's the first option that I'm going to share with you right now. And here's the very first step I'm going to do. I'm going to put this 99 minus 72. If we subtract, we are going to get 27, isn't it? Likewise, we're going to do the same thing. 45 minus 27, this number is going to give us 18, isn't it? We're going to repeat the same process. Once again, 39 minus this 18 is going to give us next number 21. And now, once again, we're going to repeat the same process. 36 minus 21, this number is supposed to be 15. So that means in this question mark, this number turns out to be 15. Let's keep moving forward, okay? So the next step is we are going to put 28 minus this 15 that is going to give us indeed 13, isn't it? And now let's subtract this 21 minus 13. 21 minus 13 is 8. And this number over here is 7. So that means these two numbers are different. They are inconsistent. So that means that our this approach is not valid because we hit the dead end. So that means this number 15, that is not the correct answer. Now this time we are going to take a little bit different approach. And here I'm going to share with you second option. Let's look at these numbers. 72. Let me go ahead and add these ones. 7 plus 2. If you add these two numbers, that is going to give us 9. And here 9 plus 9 is going to give us 18. So I'm going to add 9 plus 18. If I add these number, I'm going to get indeed this number 27. Let's go ahead and repeat the same process. Once again, 2 plus 7 is going to be 9. And then this 4 plus 5 is going to be 9 as well. So let's go ahead and add these 9 plus 9 is going to give us 18 indeed. And let's repeat the same process once again. 1 plus 8 is 9 and 3 plus 9 is 12. Let's add these number up. 12 plus 9 is going to give us 21. Now 21 could be written as 2 plus 1 is 3 and 3 plus 6 is 9. So 3 plus 9 is going to give us 12. So at this question mark, this number turns out to be 12. Let's keep moving forward. So 12 could be written as 1 plus 2 means this number becomes 3. And 2 plus 8 is 10. Let's add these numbers. 3 plus 10 is going to give us indeed 13. And now let's add 1 plus 3 is going to give us 4. And 2 plus 1 is going to 3. Let's add these number up. 4 plus 3 indeed gives us 7, isn't it? Same number. And as you can see, this time we did not see any conflict. That means our this pattern is smooth and consistent. So that means our this answer 
12 is indeed a valid answer. So thus our answer turns out to be 12. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.